Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I'm so happy to be back in this setup filming some videos for you guys because I've missed you so much. It is always so weird to leave YouTube for a certain amount of time, um, but I'm happy to be back. This video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, life updates, updates on random things, and we're going to be trying out some new products. I finally got the Morphe foundation. I also have a few other things because I got a ton of packages when I was out in Georgia for two weeks, so um, I'll be updating you guys on like some of my favorites and things like that. This is just going to be a talkative video, you know? I hope you guys are excited. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Before you leave, hit that post notification bell. So if you want to chat with me and get ready, these are like my favorite videos to watch and to film because I love getting to know people. If you're interested, then let's just go ahead and get started. Whew, I had to take a deep breath that entire time, but I just didn't do it because I would have to edit it out. Wow, where do I begin? Hello, I'm back. Finally, uh, like I said in the beginning, it feels so good to be back. I hate not being on my routine. It stresses me the out, okay? It seriously does. Um, I went to Georgia for two weeks, as most of you know. It was for Rosie Days, because Rosie Days is moving warehouses. Thank you so much to all of you that support my brand. I love you guys so much, and it's just, I'm so happy. We've grown so much, so we need a new warehouse, because we were like... So, with the new warehouse, we had to like repaint and do all this other stuff because the walls, the walls in this warehouse were like red, black, green, blue, yellow. They were just like insane. Um, it's not like a traditional warehouse. I'll talk more about this, I feel like, on my vlog channel because I don't know if you guys find it like super interesting on my main channel, like for beauty and stuff. I do try to keep everything pretty separated. Had to repaint it. It was really delayed. Needless to say, I could have gone down like a week later but we got it done and it looks so dang good i'll put a picture right here this is actually the facebook live and like just photo op areas that i created with like a bunch of tj maxx stuff and overstock so next time i'm down in georgia i will definitely vlog it because i was gonna vlog but it was like the most stressful two weeks ever and little man is doing great. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it in there. Little man is doing really good. Also, quickly before we get into the video, I told you guys I'm gonna be trying out some new products, updating you on things that I have tried and that I took with me to Georgia. Um, one thing I'm gonna update you guys on is my palette with physicians formula. So this is available in Ulta stores. So you can go into Ulta, see it, touch it, love it. This is in store. So if you guys want to go see it, definitely go check it out. Um, thank you guys so much again for all the love on this palette. We'll be using this in this video, but I also want to dabble into some new products because there's just so much stuff. I came home and I had so many packages, but thank you so much. I love you guys. I see your tweets. I see your Instagram tags. I see it all. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And Every time, like even you guys supporting my collabs, supporting Rosie Days, it's just something I'm forever grateful for and I love you for it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, go get you one. I hope you absolutely love it if you haven't tried it yet. I will also link my other, I think I have two videos. I have a dedicated video and then I have a tutorial with it down below. So I'll link those two below if you guys want to check them out. There's actually two tutorials because there's one in the dedicated video. The dedicated video is like the announcement video. So I did a little tutorial on that and then I did another tutorial as well. So I'll have those below if you guys want to check it out. Got an eyeshadow primer. Okay. So I'm just going to put this on my eyelids. I have switched back to my old camera. I don't think I ever told you guys that. But I was having so many issues with audio that I <laughs> honestly just did not have the patience or time before I left to fix it and I haven't had a chance since I've been back. I've only been back a couple days. I haven't had a chance to really play with it. So I'm back to the old camera because I can see my audio. I can see if something goes off. So whenever I try to bring that camera back, I'm definitely going to take my time, play with it a little bit longer. I tried adjusting it like two or three times and I just couldn't get it down. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set that base. I'm going into my palette and I'm going to use the shade Do Not Disturb. It's this one right here. It's a really nice matte cream shade. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and set the primer with that. I notice if I don't do this step, they will crease in no time. Diving into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I have not been able to find this palette for so long. And the reason why is because my desk that Davis made me is white. And uh, this was just laying on the corner. And it blended so well. Obviously because it's white. So for the longest time, I was like, where's that palette? I know I didn't take it with me anywhere. Where is it at? I need to know. And then finally, I found it one day on the corner, and I was like, oh my god, it just blends. <laughs> That's why I never found it. But I'm happy to have it in my hands now. 
because I really do like this palette. So two weeks I was down in Georgia. We actually went to Atlanta Market and stuff and did some shopping for the store. It was so much fun. The longest three days ever, but it was so worth it. Um, I want to go one more time in April before I have this baby. I think they're doing something in June too, but I know going into like my nine months of pregnancy, I'm not going to want to walk around Mart trying to shop. So um, I want to go one more time in April and get some more stuff. It's always really nice to go in and like touch the products. I did a video on this, the hour... Glass Vanish Seamless Liquid Foundation. So in that video, I said that, you know, I liked it. Um, was it my all-time favorite? No, I definitely needed to try it out more. So I took it with me to Georgia, and I actually wore it a couple times. And the one time that I remember specifically, I wore it to Mart. And the difference between this foundation and this foundation, drugstore, high-end, I love the Vanish Stick, um, but this looks so cakey after a while on my skin like I don't know I just can't seem to make it work for me which is surprising I really I don't know it's like I like the way it looks when it first goes on but then throughout the day it just does not look that good on my skin um but this one it looks super smooth from the moment you apply it throughout the day and at the end of the day and I stayed matte all day with this one I was so shiny at the end of Mart with this incredibly matte with this one so sad to say I I have come to the conclusion that I'm not a big fan of the Hourglass Foundation. I thought I was going to love it and I just couldn't make it work. I also, all right, let me get into another eyeshadow before I start jibber jabbering. I think I'm going to go into, I kind of want to play with like these colors. So I think I'm going to go into this color right here. I don't know what color this is. It's somewhere. And I'm going to just put this in the outer V and into my crease. There's so many products out right now. I know there's like the Tarte, um, what you call it, Shape Tape Foundation again, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I think they took away the other foundations and then they put this one out. I'm fine with it. I wasn't super obsessed with the last Tarte uh, foundation that was like that, so I'm excited to try this new one. Next up, we're going to go into the shade right next to it. It's a little bit deeper, this one. And I'm going to put that, again, right in that outer V. Davis has been gone since the beginning of February. So that was, like, my timeline of when I was going to leave for Georgia. Because I knew I wanted to leave when he left. So I could, like, get my mind and focus and go down there and get stuff done. Like, the perfect time for me to go to Georgia is when Davis is training. So that's exactly what I did. I was just there. I just could have gone down a week later. Actually, I couldn't have because I have a doctor's appointment this week for babies. So, anyways, you know, it all ended up working out. But I normally leave when he leaves. Everybody asks all the time, like, how do you keep yourself so busy? I just, I, I have so much going on that even when he's gone, I still have stuff I can do constantly. So, I'm lucky that I'm able to do that. Um, but, yeah. That's how I keep myself so busy. So I did ask you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, and I'm about to go check them. Let's take this color all over, like even in the inner corner, and then we'll just adjust the outer V to make it deeper so there's like dimension in here. Hopefully this looks good after I get foundation and stuff on because I'm honestly just winging it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in to I'm gonna actually use this brush this is from Huda Beauty and this came with her like nude palette I think I'm gonna take this side and go in with the super deep dark brown the outer V and kind of use it as a liner halfway next video I'll do a cool, cool tone look I promise cuz I actually got this Lorac unzipped elegance palette and I love the colors in this I opened it and I was like oh my gosh this is beautiful so I hope they're nice and pigmented I think I'm gonna just take a bronze and put that on the inner corner because I'm not loving the matte that I put on that kind of takes it down a notch we'll just use that this one's right by the orange that I put on I'm just kind of going back and forth with colors right now because I didn't do the best job at thinking this look through. Definitely not my best work, but we're going to have to 
make it work. It's just very like smoky all around. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> so there's also really exciting stuff going on. Very stressful, but very exciting. So we're gonna announce that on the vlog channel. I only have one baby in my tummy. Every time I say, like, we have an announcement, people are like, twins? No, there's only one child in my stomach. Davis wanted me to wait until he was home to tell you guys, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna tell you till he gets home because we just have so much going on right now. <laughs> it's just insane. So, yeah, can't wait to tell you guys that and spill those beans. And you'll also know why I have been so MIA because there's just so much going on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go off camera and I'm gonna apply these lashes. These are Lily Lashes in Mink Miami. So I'm gonna apply these, I really like them. They're already cut and ready to go. Now I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I had to change up what lashes I was gonna wear because the Lily ones, I don't know why, but they were poking me so bad in my inner corner and my eyes started watering. Watering? <laughs> my eyes started watering and it was just a freaking mess. Um, I'm wearing the Batty B lashes in Instaho. They're definitely super dramatic, but I like them. Instaho. While I was gone, so much just happened. Um, I had a ton of packages come in from FedEx and I was going to see if this was one of the packages and it is. So it's the Tarte Face Tape Foundation um, that I was telling you guys about. And they sent it in this box and all my little things fell out, but I love that they sent these little minis. Oh my gosh, it's just so much better than getting like full size of every single foundation because it's just not realistic. I'm really excited to have all of these. Um, and I think I'm not going to use it today. I think I'm just going to do a full video on this foundation. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be probably the next video I film. Hopefully we'll have that up this week as well. But yeah, 50 shades, 5 undertones. Very cool. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and prime. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Order because I'm trying a new foundation today. So you guys know I'm going to keep with the primers that I know and love. So I'm also going to use the Smashbox Minimize Pores Primer as well. So we're just going to... drench myself in this. It's always funny trying to apply primer water when the fan is on because it does not go in the way you want it to go. Putting this in my t-zone, I've fallen back in love with this since I did that full face of nothing new, which I want to do that again so bad. So be expecting that too. I had so much fun going through the things that I already had. So I got the new Morphe foundation. And let me tell you, I thought I did a really good job at picking my shade online. But then these shades came in. I was like, uh... I don't know if that's going to work. So this is the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. I've been really excited to try it. I also got the concealer. only got one because I could have sworn this would have been a great concealer for me. But it is so light. So we'll try to make it work. But I don't I don't know. It might be way too light. I didn't do a good job this time, I guess. So we have F2.110. I'm just going to swatch these for you guys so you can see them on me. F1.120, F2.60, F2.10. One one zero. I think I'm gonna just mix these two together and see what I can get. This one's way too light for me. So they just look like this. Very similar to what is it, the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. Most people have said that this stains their skin, so I'm hoping this doesn't like really stain mine. So it's supposed to be like a super full coverage foundation and very, very matte. We will see how I like it. So I just mix the two there and I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender per usual. And I'm just going to do what I normally do and press it in to my skin. And then I'm just going to take it up to the forehead. We'll do half the face first and just see. Oh, I mean, right off the bat, it's like I'm a little dry on my forehead right now. And you can definitely tell it with this foundation. Mixing those two shades is about as good as it's going to get for me. I can really, really see texture in this area because it is so matte. Okay, let's do this side. This does have like a paint smell, but it's nothing that I haven't smelt before. To me, it smells like that Wet n Wild foundation that I really like. What's it called? The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Really good one. Highly recommend. My skin has been changing, not changing too much since getting pregnant, but it's definitely a little bit more dry. Um, I haven't been using like a lot of, oh my god, no, this looks not, this is not, I just got a good look at myself and I'm like, oh my god, no, 
Normally I like matte foundations, but mm -mm. this one is looking not so good on my skin. And now that I have lines in my forehead, because I haven't gotten Botox in a long time, um, you can really see it. This is like a dry matte. This is something, I feel like if you have dry skin, this is a no, no, no for you. I do not think you're going to like it at all. Because for someone like me who has pretty oily skin, I mean, it's oily combo. Stuff like this where it's super flat matte makes me nervous because things like this make me more oily throughout the day because it just sucks the life out of my skin. I want to show you guys. Can you see? It's just really textured. I mean, you can see my pores in here. It's super full coverage. I will give it that. Hopefully, it'll look better like once I get concealer on and a setting spray. But my very first impression is this is like way too matte for me, which... Might as well put that down in the book of things I've never said. Actually, I probably have said it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like the color of these two mixed together too. So obviously my shades in between these two. Yeah, that's just a... It's really into... Oh yeah, like my line right here is super prominent when I'm not even moving because it's so dry. Yeah. This is why I get Botox. Right there. <laughs> This is 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, great for all skin types. <gasps> this for dry? I just don't see it. If you have dry skin, let me know if you've tried this and if you like it because I find that so hard to believe. Let's move on to concealer. This is the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. $9, three reviews, four and a half stars. And it says 16 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free fragrance and parabens. Ophthalmologist tested. I'm gonna try this color. I also have the Makeup Forever one over here. I can use a darker one if needed because I have been using this Makeup Forever Ultra HD one, but I will say, it is not my favorite on its own. I think it's just like more of a medium coverage, but it looks great on the skin. It just looks like skin. So what I normally do is, are you so hot, my baby? So what I like to do with this one is apply it in that like triangle shape, and then I'll go with a nice full coverage concealer right in my dark area, and then just blend it all out, and it looks really seamless and beautiful, and I've been really enjoying this for that reason, but if you're looking for something that's a full coverage, one and done type of thing, I don't think you're gonna like this. But it is really nice on the skin if you like to mix your concealers. So I will probably pull that in if I need to. This one's the shade C1.35. Again, if you're even close to my skin color, this is not the shade it looks like. But we will, oh my God, we will test it out, you know? I swear, I thought I was doing so good online, and then it came, and I was just like, what the heck? For me, it's funny to watch reviews, because I don't know, I just, everybody has different skin types, skin texture, and like, things they look for in products, you know what I mean? And some people will be like, wow, this is full coverage, and I'll be like, are you sure? <laughs> I can see my dark circle, I'm kind of confused. So if I don't like something, it's just personal preference. This looks like it's pretty full coverage. It's obviously hella brightening so far. I mean, it's blending really well on top of this super matte foundation. And I think if I got the right shade for me, I would like it even more. But yeah, very highlighted and intense for sure. I'm going to take a little brush and get right in there. And I'm also going to really bring this up on my nose to help kind of contour that out. That blended pretty well on top of that matte foundation. Sometimes you never know with matte foundations because they can be so drying. I'm gonna go in with 33 from the makeup with the Makeup Revolution concealer. I'm just gonna kind of help give us a better color. And this does blend out really really well. Like it's such a beautiful concealer. It really does look like skin. I think on top of this foundation and stuff, it's just like going to be the perfect combo because it's going to add a little bit of hydration on there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mix the two. Like, look at the difference. <laughs> I did an awful job. That's probably how I'll use them from now on because I do like the way this side of my face looks with it, but I know I can't get away with that color. The Makeup Forever one is also one of my favorites to highlight my face with, so I'm actually going to take the shade 30 and I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose, forehead, and here and I like this concealer because like I said 
it's not super drying. So since my forehead has been a little bit drier recently, I do like this one to not make it look super caked up and really intense between my eyebrows. You know what I mean? By the way, I'm still using the Fenty Beauty Powder. I do want to say I like this powder, but I don't like it for baking. I like it just to set my face, even my under eyes. So when I go in with this powder and a beauty blender, I don't necessarily bake my under eyes like a lot like I normally do because then I feel like it looks a little dry. I just like to kind of do light layers and then do it on the rest of my face and that's how I set everything. Name one of your challenge, your biggest challenges through pregnancy. Um, I think my biggest challenge is just my attitude. <laughs> I My patience is like at an all-time low for absolutely anything that makes me mad. Like it is just... I mean, I'm already sassy as it is, you know, like, in my everyday life, but, oh, man, if something goes wrong, or if someone just does something to make me mad, or whatever, it's like, ooh, there's no filter. So, I think my attitude, <laughs> and being super emotional, I am not a crier, but I think, <laughs> I think I've cried more last month than I have cried in, like, the past three years, to be honest with you, just because... I don't know. I'm always, like, emotional. So, being emotional, trying to tune down the tude. I mean, I'm just being honest with you guys. Other than, like, honestly, being tired and emotional and hungry, I really don't feel pregnant. I actually just hit 20 weeks this past Sunday. So, we're halfway there. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited to meet him. I'm so excited to meet him, but there's so much to do. But I... He could come and everything not be done and I'd totally be fine with it. You know, <laughs> like the nursery not done because he wouldn't be in there for a while anyways. I'm just so excited to meet him. I know Davis is too. Some people are asking his due date. It's July 7th. Uh, people are saying, are you having an easy or hard pregnancy so far? I'm actually having, like I said, a pretty good pregnancy. I'm going to dip into this palette for the bronzer. I'm having a really good pregnancy so far. I know some people get really sick. One of my best friends was getting sick for the longest time. I felt so bad for her. Um, I've never actually thrown up. I've just felt incredibly nauseous. One of my best friends, she's having a girl and she is just so sick. Or she was like, she was incredibly sick her first trimester. Um, and then she still kept getting sick a little bit later on as well. So I was like, oh my gosh, I felt so bad for her. I think I've had a pretty easy pregnancy so far. But most people say, like, you have that one pregnancy that's so easy and then you just want to keep going and going. Because <laughs> you're like, this is easy. I can do this. I do, I mean, Davis and I do want more kids. The number, not too sure of just yet. We're kind of going back and forth. Um, but I definitely want more. Okay, this brush, by the way, is from Dior. Uh, not necessary. I got this in PR, but I do really like it for bronzer. Contour. I will go in with this Smashbox palette and use this nice contour shade right here. I've been loving this palette so much again. I dabbled back into it. I would add a brightener underneath my eyes, but my face is already so matte. I don't think my uh, face can handle any more powder after this. People keep asking us to do baby names we love but won't be using. I actually don't like... I'm going to go into the blush in this palette. Um, I don't have like a ton of names that I was ready for. Like... <laughs> I, I'm not one of those people who grew up being like, oh, my kid's going to be named this. That just wasn't me. Yeah, we don't, we don't have, like, a list of names that we go back and forth with. We do have our names. Um, we had a girl name because it hit me, like, a ton of bricks. I just, it hit me, and I was like, oh, my God, this is what I want to name my girl one day. Yeah, but there's not, we don't have, like, a list of names that we like but won't be using, believe it or not. So we won't be doing that video. I got these new Lorac uh, highlighters. They're Light Source Mega Beam Highlighters. We have Gilded Lily, Cestial, Glowy for Gold. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I really like the packaging of this. I think these are a little bit more amped up than their last ones. But I used to absolutely love these highlighters. Or like highlighters from Lorac. But I think these are a little bit more intense. Ooh. That is so, these are definitely more intense, I feel like, than the other ones. Unless my other ones were just super expired. The Sigma came out with some brow pencils. Um, I'm going to try these. Real quick, we have medium and light. They're the fill and blend brow pencils. So I'm going to go with medium in the outer parts of my brow. And I'm just going to speed through this. 
feel like these brows look pretty good. Um, the pencil itself is pretty thin, but I actually really like it. They came out with, I don't think I said this, but Sigma came out with a bunch of different brow products. So far I like it, but just, you know, use a light hand because they will break pretty easily, which is pretty normal, but they're really thin. Now what I'm going to do is go in with their new brow gel, and this is tinted. This is in light. I love a good tinted brow gel, so let's see what it's working with. There's just something about when they add, like, little highlights to the brows. It just looks so... Some people hate it, but I love it. This one's pretty pigmented, so I'm going to go in with a spoolie that they sent. and I'm just going to brush through so it's not super intense. I think I'm done there. <laughs> That's that. And then I'm going to go back into this Lorac highlighter and highlight my brow bone with this. You guys know I love doing that. I'm using the same highlighter that I have on my face underneath my brow. It's just something I've always done. All right, let's finish up these eyes. Going in with this Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is a brown eyeliner. Bobo, go downstairs if you're hot. And then I'm just going to take the same colors and use them on my lower lashes. And I'm going to tell you guys a story. <laughs> so, you know how... One of the questions has been like, have I experienced any weird pregnancy cravings? And the answer is no. But the other night, I was laying in bed. It was like two nights ago. And I was watching Instagram stories someone, I can't even remember who it was, mentioned tuna. Hopefully someone mentioned tuna in Instagram story. I'm pretty sure they did. And I, I went into this whole thing of like, tuna? Tuna salad. Tuna salad sandwich. And then I started going on Pinterest and looking up tuna salad sandwiches. Let me tell you, I haven't had a tuna salad sandwich since I swear to you, probably like 2012, 2013. Because I remember when I used to eat them a lot. And it has been so long since I had one. But I just started craving it. Like I could taste it when I was laying there looking at Pinterest getting some ideas. Because I can't remember how I used to make it. I remember it used to be really good. But I can't remember for the life of me how I used to make it. But I, I just got so freaking hungry. But, like, I haven't had any cravings, like, anything weird. I still have a major sweet tooth, that's for sure. I've had a sweet tooth. I've honestly had a sweet tooth for as long as I can remember, but since getting pregnant, it's just, like, ten times more intense. <laughs> a lot of people say that's how you know it's a girl. You crave sweets and you crave salty with boy, but I crave both. But I will say there is one thing that, like, I cannot get enough of, and it's usually when I'm down in Georgia because I can't get really good biscuits here, um, but it is sausage and chicken biscuits. Chicken biscuits from Chick-fil-A, sausage biscuits from Martin's. If you guys have a Martin's, let me know. I feel like nobody has Martin's. I feel, it's, I feel like it's like a Georgia thing, and it's very rare that you see them. I don't know. If you've never tried Martin's, go get you a sausage biscuit. Uh, my dream biscuit is to have a Martin's biscuit, like just the bread, and then taking Chick-fil-A chicken from their chicken biscuit on that biscuit and that would be the best biscuit of my life. So next time I'm down, we have to do that now because all I wanted when I was down in Georgia was biscuits. <laughs> it was so good. I'm gonna have a biscuit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not kidding. This is the face so far. I am gonna go ahead and just spray this Morphe spray um, because I could use a spray, but I like the way this look is turning out. I still, my skin just looks pretty heavy for the foundation, but I like everything else. Like the blush, the bronzer, obviously, because for my palette. I actually really like the eyeshadow look. Uh, I know it's nothing crazy for you guys. You've seen me do warm looks before, but I still really like it. And I like that it turned out pretty well. Let's just add some, you know. Okay, I got these lippies in. I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Deck of Scarlet. I don't think this lippy will match, but I really want to try it. Maybe it will. So this is in the shade Slow Jams, and this is a matte velvet lip color. I got these, and I love the packaging. I think it's so beautiful. Ooh. I always feel like I can't blink when I'm doing eyeliner or lip products. Ooh, I like that. That is beautiful. So look at this packaging. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. So I actually like this lip with this look. It kind of amps it up a little bit. So yeah, for those of you that have had a hard time getting this, it is now available in stores at Ulta. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!